And first tonight, a Denver 7 exclusive. Parents and students are blowing the whistle on what they say is a racist culture at a prominent private school. And now a popular teacher who tackled the topic is out of a job. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andrew Hill. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And some parents now say they're so fed up they're pulling their kids out of that school. Teresa Marchette is digging into these disturbing allegations. You were always on your cell phone. This is Greg Tucker, a teacher and chaplain at Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, rolling out the school's new cell phone policy in a video on his YouTube channel. Parents, students, and alumni say his desire to have a student dialogue about racism got him fired. My hope was that we could learn about these issues and not cringe and get in like a ball and want to not talk about them and suppress what's ever going on but address them adequately as Christians. Neil Spadafora graduated from Faith Christian two years ago. He was a panelist at Tucker's Chapel Talk on race and faith leading up to the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday in January. It was not political um, in any sense. We, we were purely talking about um, systems. We were talking about a lot about the Bible, race, history. In an open letter to the school community, Tucker said he felt an urgency to address the topic over a year ago when a number of disturbing instances of racism at the school came to light. While he doesn't go into detail, several parents and alumni tell me some of those incidents reported to staff include a teacher calling a student blackie, a teacher writing and sharing an essay on why whites are the superior race a white student telling a black student to go back to the cotton fields and a student wearing a swastika to school. Tucker says he researched the incidents, interviewed the parties involved and scheduled his panel last August. He even sent a letter out in advance to parents with the names of the participants. School officials haven't verified these incidents occurred. However, just days after the chapel, a group of parents complained to board members upset their students were exposed to terms like white privilege and asserting that talk of racism is too political for a Christian high school education. Within a month, Tucker was gone. A decision the superintendent denies in this letter to parents is tied to the race and faith conversation. I spoke with Greg Tucker's attorney. He says Tucker and his family are seeking spiritual and legal counsel right now. The FCA board, meantime, is having its first ever meeting with parents, students, and staff tomorrow night. It's closed to the general public, and only 15 pre-approved speakers will be allowed to address the board. I'm Teresa Marchetta, Denver 7. And late this afternoon, the superintendent of Faith Christian Academy sent us this statement. We absolutely do not tolerate racist behavior and we do take strong action when substantiated incidents occur. He didn't mention the comment of the specific allegations though of racism citing privacy reasons.